Good morning. Good morning. I want to thank you all for coming out this morning. Um, Commissioner Sims will be speaking this morning along with Ken Peterson, who's a trustee of the Village of Steger. Uh, in addition, I'd like to thank uh, the Village of Richardson Park, the Village of Phoenix, the City of Markham, the Village of Glenwood, the City of Blue Island, the Village of Skokie, the Village of Steger, the City of <coughs> Calumet City, the City of Chicago Heights, the Village of Fort Heights, um, <coughs> the Forest Preserve District, and the Village of Burnham for their uh, attendance today. I'd like to welcome the mayors, village managers, and other representatives from various municipalities who have come out today to collect their certificates of purchase for properties from the 2011 scavenger sale. The Cook County Bureau of Economic Development has been working hard to process the properties purchased through our no cash bid program and I'm happy to report that they are presenting 193 certificates of purchase today. <coughs> the no cash bid program is an economic development tool designed to assist municipalities and other taxing bodies in acquiring tax delinquent property for reuse as private development or for tax exempt municipal use. Uh, let me just say when I was alderman uh, of the fourth ward in the 1990s when the city uh, initiated a no cash bid program we used it as a vehicle to assemble parcels for development. It was very effective both later in the 90s and the early part of, uh, of this millennium uh, in uh, providing significant development opportunities for um, the, the private development community. So we're able to get control of development in the fourth ward in a way that we wouldn't have if we had not been able to secure properties through this no cash bid program. There have been many successful development projects in the 70 municipalities and three townships that have participated in this program since the early 90s, City of Chicago being one. Past redevelopment projects have returned properties to the tax rolls such as gas stations, convenience stores, and single family homes, while municip municipal projects such as first responder training and operations facilities, a stormwater management project, these things have been brought, have, have been provided with the needed resources and services that Cook County residents uh, require. All of these projects can generate new property tax, new property and sales tax from the property that had once been a drain on municipal resources. We're very happy to be a partner with these municipalities seeking to repurpose vacant land and we look forward to continuing our assistance in community development. I'd like to acknowledge um, Herman Brewer who is our Bureau Chief of Economic Development who is here along with his staff. Commissioner Sims. Thank you, Madam President. You know, every time we have one of these, it's a great opportunity for us, the county, to show that we want to partner with all of you and to make things a lot easier for you to do development in your community. This is the best tool that county has. Uh, with You're looking at all of the foreclosed properties that you have in your communities. This is an opportunity for you to do development and to kind of shell some of that stuff and, and, and people don't get to see all of the blight and it's able for you to bring in other developments and make your town look really, really nice. And most of you sitting in this room, this is not your first time coming uh, to get a certificate so you know how great it is. Uh, this is not a, a secret that Cook County has. We reach out to all of the municipalities throughout Cook County, and we try to get more municipalities to participate. It's really great. A lot of my mayors are here, uh, Mayor Gonzalez, Mayor Poloquin, and they know that this is a, a great tool because it helps them to develop their communities, and we're, the county is always happy to partner. And, uh, President Pretwinkle is really excited about this, and willing to do everything that we can with all of uh, my staff uh, area and Stephanie and the treasurer's office uh, to make sure that life is easy when you go through this process and, and we're really happy to partner with you thank you um, let me acknowledge Olympia Fields which is also present here today I apologize for for uh, failing to include you and Ken Peterson is a trustee in the village of Steger. Did I say that right? That's right. All right, Ken. Thank you, Madam President, Commissioner Sims, and honored guests. It's an honor to be here today. Um, the village of Steger participated in this program back in 2008. Uh, we're participating again. Uh, but in 2008, we had an abandoned building. There's pictures to your left. 
Um, in our town, our fire chief saw this as an opportunity to convert it to a fire station because we had the need. We had a, a, an existing fire station that did not house all the equipment that we needed and it was outdated. So we participated in the no cash bid program uh, created by Cook County and we acquired this building at no cost to our village. We were then able to convert it into the fire station and you can see the before and after pictures to your left. And we were able to not only house all of our equipment but we were able to create a large conference room in the second uh, floor of that building which we now use as a training center to not only train our firefighters but to also welcome other firefighters from surrounding communities to participate. This program has not only increased our public safety by providing us a place to put our equipment, providing us a place to train, but it also spurred economic development because just kitty corner from that building, a new dialysis center was built after we opened our fire station. Now we're participating in this program to acquire a parcel just north of this building so we can add to our training center, so we can continue to give our firefighters experience and education. So from blight to a gem of our community, we are able to participate and we thank President Prackwinkle for her leadership and her efforts and we thank her staff and Commissioner Sims and the County Board. These contributions have created a wonderful opportunity for us and again, we thank you. Thank you very much.